Hi, I'm Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Before you begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor. And he'll say, you know, for you as an individual, these exercises you should do, but you'll want to stay away from these exercises. Because when you and your doctor work together, you and he both know what's best for you. You'll also want to wear loose, comfortable clothing as Carol and I have on, so that when you bend and stretch and reach, you're not restricted in any way. We're going to be standing behind our chair, so you want to make sure that you have good support of footwear on, no flip-flops, no high heels. I don't know, I wouldn't wear high heels exercising, <laughs> but there might be some people that do. So you want to make sure that you're that you're in a position that the clothes that you wear don't impede your exercises at all. You'll want to drink water before, during, and after our time together. Also, you'll want to work at your own pace. So, if Carol and I are moving too slowly for you, and you really need to pick up the pace, if you can do it safely, gosh, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. If we're working too fast for you, then by all means, you'll want to slow down. And if you're feeling dizzy or lightheaded or uncomfortable in any way, just stop and you can rejoin us. And if you have to stop the whole time, maybe next time, you could stay with us longer. So, let's get a drink of water first. Yes. Alrighty. Now, are these exercises good to tell you how to get up and down from a, a, you a know, chair? A chair? Because sometimes it's not as easy as you think. You're right. Especially if you're far back. Right, if you're far back, the first then thing you, you got to do, do is get, get, get... You have to do the tootsie roll and get your oh, feet is forward. That, oh, that sounds good. That's the trick. That's the trick. So we're, we are going to get mm. to that. So you've checked with your doctor. You have loose, comfortable clothes. You've okay. had a drink of water. And you know you need to do your best. So again, just do a little. Next time, do a little more. Do a little more. But just keep that progress going. Mm. Listening to your body. If your body says, not a good idea, your body is brilliant. So we have to have great reverence for our body. Also, you want to eat well. Your body needs good nutrition, like your car needs good gas. So you want to eat your fruits and vegetables and drink your water. Also, you'll find that if you smile, these exercises are a lot easier to do. Today, we're going to be working on chair exercises, and then we're going to stand up, practice standing up, and then we're going to do a couple of exercises from the back of the chair. So, before we begin this, let's introduce Carol. Hi. As I said before, this is going to be very helpful to a lot of people. I have a hard time sometimes lifting up from a chair, and especially if I'm holding something. That's a little dangerous sometimes, so you got to judge. Try not to have anything in your hands because that gives you more weight and you find it harder to get up. Oh. Do you agree? Well, I do, I do. Which is like, if I have a big heavy load, yeah. I usually put it on the counter, get up, and pick it up. If I have a heavy load, like books, like I just brought some books back from the library, I first put them on the table and then I sit down. As a matter of fact, one of the major reasons for people falling is that when, say, the phone rings, they get up from their chair and they head for the phone, and if they trip, bang, they're going right That's down. Right. If they're getting out of the car because they have to get groceries for dinner, they're running a little short on time, they open the door, get out of the car, step forward, shut the door, and head in, mm -hmm. you haven't stood up. In the middle of the night, if you have no. to go to the bathroom, you roll out of bed and head to the bathroom like this. So what you must do, and again, this is about getting up, this is about being from a seated position, either on a car, or in a chair or even from lying down on the bed getting to a seated position when you stand up you need to stand all the way up prior to going forward right. and that way the upper body isn't rounded forward so we really need to take the time too when we get up That's to stand up properly straight yeah so 
Carol is yes. very good <laughs> at chair exercises and also standing up exercises because she was a professional dancer in New York City. That's what I always wanted to do. But, you know, <laughs> I'm happy where I am. Before we, we need you where you are. <laughs> Everybody <sighs> needs each other. So that's why we're going to do our chair exercises. Okay. You'll notice that Carol and I are in good, sturdy chairs. So I hope you're yeah, in a good, so. sturdy chair. You want to make sure your chair doesn't have rockers or rollers or can even go back. Because if you go back, probably you'll just want to relax there and just watch us. So we don't want you to do that. The most beneficial thing for you is to walk your buttocks towards the edge of the chair. You'll notice that our feet are flat mm -hmm. and our ankles and feet are right under our knees. And right behind our knees are our hips. Our bellies are in, our chests are up, our shoulders are up and back and down. As we bring the shoulders up, back and down, automatically the ribs lift up. And so that frees your lungs for all of this great oxygen rich air, which is just super duper when you're exercising. So even being in a chair prior to exercising, you'll wanna make sure that you're in very, very good posture and you feel good. When you are in good posture, you are gonna have a very small dip in your back and a very small dip between your head and your shoulders. That's normal and you want that. So what we're going to do are just a few resistance exercises from the chair. We simply place our hands on our knees and we're gonna to try to pull one knee up and push it down at the same time. We'll do one and then the other, one and then the other. So I like to lean back a little bit. I am really big on cheating. So I'm gonna lean back a little bit and go one, two, three and switch. One, two, three and switch. The hand pushes down and the knee pushes up. Good. One, two, three, and switch. Last time, please. One, two, three, and switch. And go. One, two, three, and switch. Good job. Now, hands go on the outside. We're going to push the knees out, the hands in. We're going to push and hold, and then we're going to sweep the hands in. Try to pull the knees in and push the hands out. Okay, here we go. Nice and tall, ear, shoulder, hip, belly in, ribs up, look straight ahead, shoulders up and back and down. Push out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. Push in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. Push out, two, three, four, five, six, you're doing great. In, two, three, try to pull those knees right in last time. Push out, two, three, four, five, six, switch again, pull in, two, three, four, and you are done. Ah. So we were pushing down as we were trying to pull the knee up. Mm -hmm. Now, on purpose, we're sitting at the edge of our chair. We're going to place our fingertips behind our leg. If that's uncomfortable for you, you could get a towel to put under your leg, or you could get a tie or something that you can put under your leg. And you're going to breathe in, and as you breathe out, pull the knee to the chest. Now we're going to try to hold that knee in. The knee is going to try to push down. We're going to try to pull up. Here we go. Push two, three, four, five, six, seven, release. <laughs> Push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, release. Last time, push down, pull with the hands, and you are done. Wow. I don't like that one at all. How no. about you? No. <laughs> My hip does not like that. So if that. you don't like it, you are just like Carol and me. Okay. So grasp the underneath okay. of the leg, either with a towel. You could use a pillowcase. Lean back. Okay, so we have our fingertips under. For some people, they like to interlace their fingers. I just kind of grip underneath. Mm. You'll find what's best for you. Here we go. Breathe in. As you breathe out, push, two, three, four, five, <sighs> six, seven, release. And push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, release. And push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, release. Ah. So remember, your doctor would have said, if you have high blood pressure, don't do any isometric training, which that was. We only did hold to eight. So if you did it mm -hmm. and you didn't faint, that's a good thing. <laughs> so 
remember, when we do an exercise, <coughs> if you're Excuse feeling me. at all uncomfortable, just stop it because we'll be moving on to do something else. Now, you'll notice that Carol and I, because these are chair exercises, we have arms on our chair. Mm. Okay? So, Carol's going to hold her elbows back and her hands are slightly behind her ribs. There you go. Because her buttocks are at the edge of the chair. <laughs> Keep sliding back. Alrighty. And that's normal. Carol was sliding back when she was exercising, and that's very normal. So recorrecting yourself all the time is really important. Now, if, if you're like me and you don't have any handles on your chair, you're going to be able to push the heels of the hands down into your chair seat. So all we're doing is we're pushing down and trying to lift our buttocks up just a hair, just a little just bit. Just a little? Yep, just a little. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, and push and release. <sighs> and push and release. Push down into the chair, the handles release. You're doing great, Carol. Push and release. <sighs> And push. We're doing great. Let's do four more if you can. <laughs> One and two and three. And here's your last one. Four. four. Yay. Yay. So that's a hard one, but we were pushing up, pushing up. Mm. If you're pushing your hands down and pushing yourself up, guess what we need to do now? We need to pull up. So, we can go on the sides of our chair. And the fingers are under our chair. We're standing, sitting nice and tall. Okay? So, we're reaching underneath our chair seat. Okay? Because we have arms, we have to reach behind a little bit. <laughs> so, you sit nice and tall. As you exhale, you're going to try to pull the hands up and you're going to push your bottom down. Here we go. Breathe in and pull two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. And pull two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. And one more time, please. Pull, two, three, four, five, six, seven, done. So that's a lot of work because we're working our whole body with the chair and against the chair. So we'll need a nice stretch. Fingertips in, breathe in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, come forward just a little bit and then look over one shoulder. Come back to center, please. And look over the other shoulder. Come back to center, please. Now, we're going to pull our ears up away from our shoulders. And then we're going to turn and look over the shoulder again. There you go. Back to center. And over the other shoulder. And back to center. Then we're going to push ourselves up. Our hands come forward and we lean back. Now, this leaning back and forward. I'm going to show you a little trick. You're going to lean back. The stomach tightens up. When we lean forward, we're going to bring our hands like this. So we lean back, our palms are open, we lean forward and we close. There you go. Lean back and believe it or not, this is really an important exercise for what we're about to do next. Lean back and lean forward. Good job. So we're leaning back and we lean forward. What's going to be important about this is when we do get-ups. So we're going to do the easiest way to get up to the, probably the most difficult way to get up. And you want to pay attention to what you're comfortable with. And once you know that, see if you can go the next level up, making sure you don't hurt yourself. No pain, no pain. Okay. So because we have handles on our chair, guess what the easiest way to get up is? Before you do a get-up, Bring your heels slightly behind your knees because you're going to push the heels down, not the balls of your feet. If you try to push the balls of the feet down to get up, your knees are forward and it's a tremendous amount of pressure on that knee. But if you're pushing the heels down, the knees are going to stay directly over those ankles. And you want that to protect your knees because some people, their knees hurt when they get up. So we want to protect them and keep them very, very safe. So when we get up, our heels are just slightly behind the knees. We're going to do the easiest way to get up. 
We're holding on to our handles. We're going to lean back, breathing in. As we breathe out, we're pushing down on the handles. We're only going to come up halfway and then come all the way down. So if you're just practicing getting up, this is a good way to make a start nice and easy. Here we go. Let's push the hands down and come up halfway. Now we're going to come up all the way. Mm. We're pushing our hands down and then we come up. We pull the shoulders up and back and down. When we get up and pull the shoulders up, back and down, the beauty of that is we're stabling our styles and making sure that we're in good posture. Because we're gonna sit down, we need to reach back and see if we can see the chair or feel the chair and sit back down. Wow, sitting's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sitting is really nice. Really nice. Okay, so another way, so once you've mastered that, you can actually sit with the buttocks towards the edge of the chair. Feet are flat. Mm -hmm. Posture is nice and tall. Because remember, your upper body. I don't know if anybody you know like this, but I had an aunt. When she got up, she'd fold her body down, roll the body Ooh. forward, and roll. Oh, my up. gosh. That's the, and then she'd walk like this. <laughs> that was my aunt. Oh. Okay. Now, even though I love my aunt, I would look at her and go, I am never going to walk like that. Oh. I would say it to myself, never to her, you know, because you have respect for your elders. It's a wonder she didn't just tumble. Uh, it's a wonder, but she didn't. I don't know. Because people will try to find the easiest, easiest. way to get stuff done. <sighs> and the easiest isn't always the safest for you. Nope. Okay, so we've practiced with our hands right here. Now we're going to place our hands on our chair. So again, we are getting assistance. Our feet are flat. Our knees are directly in front of our hips. With this, we are going to lean back a little bit to get a little momentum. Then we're going to lean forward, push off, and come all the way up. Shoulders up, back, and down. Now, if you're getting up and you want to sit down and you're at a party and you don't want to be embarrassed, here's a little trick. Take one leg, slide it back until it hits the chair. Sure. Once you feel the chair, you can sit down Ooh, without like, reaching for the without reaching for anything because it's a trick. Oh, yes, indeed, that's a good trick. This is the magician's exercise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Buttocks towards the edge of the chair. Our hands come down to the chair. We lean back a little bit. We're getting momentum. Then we push ourselves up. Shoulders up, back, and down. Okay, we're going to want to sit back down, but we're engaging in conversation, so we just slide one foot back, the leg feels the chair, and then we aim our buttocks towards the chair. Isn't that pleasant? Yeah. <laughs> we look like a lady. We yes. look like a lady. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, let's do it a third time. Everything's three. Hands down, lean back, push up. All the way up, shoulders up, back and down. And we're going to want to sit back. If you don't want to reach for your chair, let that leg touch. Once you've made contact, shoot the buttocks back. Good work. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Okay, now, if we don't want to use anything at all, people will still use their thighs. So oh, we're going to lean that. back a little. Lean forward, keep the chest up. So remember, you don't want to do my old auntie's rollover. <laughs> you want to keep your chin and your chest up. Push down onto the thighs, come up, shoulders up, back and down. Push the hips back, slide the hands down the thighs. We know where our chair is, so we don't have to really adjust. Okay, lean back a little bit, lean forward, push the hands down into the thighs, come up, shoulders up, back and down, because remember, we want to be in good posture prior to moving forward or backwards or sideways. Push the hips back and slide down. Third time, push down, chest and chin up, and come back down. Now, there's another way, it's a little harder, but we can do it. So remember when we did this? Down and up. Wow. Good. Down, drive the heels down, not the balls of the foot. Heels down and open. And sit back down. Drive those hands down and open. Good, good, good. Hands forward. So now we're using our hands, but we're not touching our body. Mm -hmm. Push back and lift. And down. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Drive the heels down. Hips forward. Chest up. Chin up. And down. Yes. How are your thighs? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, that was really cruel. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but progressively, and you know, you may feel really good, and you may be able to get up and down without any problem at all. But say you were working in the garden, and all of a sudden your knees and back hurt. Sure, usually you could go like this, but every once in a while, you might need to know an easier way to do it. So that's what we're sharing with you. Of course, the easiest way to do it is the most fun way to do it, and that's when you rock back and lift your knees down, buttocks up, <laughs> knees up, buttocks up, and that's why rocking chairs are so good, because I go one. They throw you right off. They throw you off. And Whee! all the way up, 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 up. Ooh, that's good. Isn't that a fun one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to do it with a dress on, but no. it's really kind of a fun one. So as long as we're up, let's stand behind our chairs. So we're going to stand behind our chairs, and we're going to utilize our chairs. Sure, these are chair exercises, but we're using our chair as a nice, solid base. Hand on the chair. We're gonna bring one arm wide and we're gonna roll up on the opposite toe. We're gonna sweep the hand, palm facing forward, thumb up, all the way across the body and pick the other heel up and roll it in. Come out, breathe in big, breathe out whoosh. Breathe in big, breathe out whoosh. One more time. Breathe in big, open up that chest, exhale whoosh. Good job. Let's come back to center and try the other one. So we're rolling up on the heel, the toe, lifting the heel, rolling the knee and the hip in. That protects any torque in the back while our arm is reaching forward. So we're going to do the other side. We'll breathe in, opening wide. Excuse me. <laughs> we're going to exhale and rotate. Whoosh. Breathe in big. Breathe out. Whoosh. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back to center. I don't want to say anything oh. about Carol, but Carol was working with a very foresty environment. <laughs> okay, so that's our breathing and our exercise using the chair. Now we're going to drop this hand down and lean on to that foot. Then we're going to lean onto the other foot while our hand it comes up and over. And it's, we're going to lift now. We're going to start to lift the legs, which we probably couldn't do if we didn't have a chair, which is why these are chair exercises because we're right behind the chair. Okay. Reach down, leg up, and all the way up, other leg up. Okay. Breathe out. Whoosh. Breathe in. Breathe out. Whoosh. Breathe in. One more time. Breathe out. Whoosh. Breathe in and relax. Great job. <laughs> okay, get ready. Other hand down. So it's like we're between two pieces of plexiglass. Okay. We're going to breathe in and lift and lengthen. Breathe out. Whoosh. Breathe in. Ah. Ah. One more time. Ah. Fabulous. So a nice thing about chair exercises, we're able to do a spinal rotation. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to turn the body to the side. And as we do, we're going to touch the side of the chair. Breathe in and come up. Breathe out and touch the side of the chair. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, touch the side of the chair. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, touch the side of the chair. One more time, breathe in, breathe out and touch. Last time, breathe in, breathe out and touch. Perfect. Yay. Now, we're going to have a seat. She said yay because she gets to sit down. Yeah. She knows all the cues. <laughs> so, if you say to yourself, I would ah. really have liked to have stood up, but it's not comfortable for me. You can still do spinal rotations either holding the elbows, the elbows, the arms of your chairs. I guess the elbow of the arm of the chair would be there. Just checking. Okay, here we go. Spinal rotation from a seated position. Your hips are grounded. We're using the chair. This is a nice chair exercise. Breathe in, stretch up. 
Now, as you breathe out, turn the body. Now, if you can't reach the handle of your chair or the arm, you can always touch the side. So Carol's going to hold the arm of the chair, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to be able to do that, so I'm here. I'm going to bring my other arm to the chair, arm way back towards the back of the chair. Carol is actually going to hold the back of the chair. Oh, I am. Yes, you are. Oh, and what hey. a good job you're doing. <laughs> but I can't get back there. So this is as far as I'm going. So if you really are an enthusiast about Spinal Twist, you'll follow Carol. And if you just want to have fun, you're going to follow me. Okay, so Carol has her front arm right here and her back arm right here. So she's really going to utilize those hands as a nice assistance for spinal rotation. Whereas I have my hand on my leg. Breathe in, sit tall, breathe out, and use those hands to turn you. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out and turn. You're kind of squishing your whole body like you're mm -hmm. wringing out a towel. Breathe in. Good for digestion, by the way. Breathe out and turn and come back to center. Good job. Breathe in. So this time as we exhale, Carol's going to go to her thigh and holding on to the chair arm. Okay? This time, I'm going to try to get a little more rotation. Huh. Breathe in, sit tall. As you exhale, pull yourself back. Breathe in, come center, please. And as you exhale, ring yourself out. Third and last time, breathe in. And as you exhale, ring yourself out. And slowly back to center. Oh. Interlace the fingers, press the palms well, down, that. and lift the chest up through. Turn and look over one shoulder. Come back to center, please. Turn and look over the other shoulder. Come back to center. Now, because we do have a chair, we are sitting all the way back. Aha! And we're going to extend one leg out and then just relax it. We're going to extend one oh, leg out nice. <laughs> and relax it. We love sitting all the way all the to way the back. back of our chairs. We think this is paradise, yes. you know? Ah, rest your back. Rest your back. But you'll notice we're in good posture. We're not slumping in our chair <laughs> like this, which is fun too, but it's not good for your back. You make sure your buttocks touch your chair, your back of your upper Everything. back touches the back of the chair and you hold your head up. Okay, and with that, we're going to take the hands down by the sides, the thighs, breathe in. Exhale, one more time, breathe in, exhale. You did a great job today. Thank you for joining us. You did just really, really well. It was Carol, me, and you, and the chair. <laughs> so, let's take a great big breath in, and as you exhale, know that all, all will, will be well. well. Good job, Yay. and we'll see you soon. I'm thirsty. Me too. Whoa. Cheers. Cheers. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.